This is Cork Today on C103. Despite his 20,000 Facebook fans, Breffney Morgan was last night booted off The Apprentice TV show. He's one of our own 23-year-old Harvard graduate from Douglas in Cork. And I'm delighted to say Breffney Morgan uh, now joins me on the programme. Good morning to you, Breffney. Good morning, Patricia. How are you? Ah, God, it just won't be the same without no. you, I'll tell you that. I know, um, it's, it's tragic. It well, is tragic. Are you absolutely gutted? Absolutely, yeah. I mean, I really wanted that job. Uh, I think Bill Cullen's a great guy, uh, and so is Jackie. So it would be nice to work for those two. But um, you know, whatever. I'll, uh, I'll I'll get the next one. Did Did you know going back into the boardroom because you'd been in the boardroom before? But did you have a yeah. sinking feeling this time that it it it, it was curtains yeah. for you? Oh, absolutely. I mean, uh, Sun Tzu, the art of war. You know, most battles are won and lost before they even begin. And that's exactly how I felt going in there. I, I, I knew it was over. I knew uh, look, uh, I didn't perform on the sales task. And uh, it was going to be judged on individual results, not team uh, skills. So I knew it was, I was toast. But yet, did you not feel Aoife made a, a way bigger boob in, 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 on her sale and return well, deal? she did. She absolutely did. I mean, uh, yeah, she made a big mistake. Um, but, uh, I mean... You know, I mean, all of us, it was a comedy of errors, really, because uh, Geraldine made some big mistakes, I made big mistakes. I mean, the thing is, I think Geraldine was more of a culprit because, um, you know, she, she didn't allow me the opportunity to sell. Yeah. She did not allow me that. Like, the two of us worked together um, getting meetings, and, uh, you know, we got we got precious few, uh, but the ones we got, she took both. And the original plan was to take one each. But she was pretty firm in saying, no, I'm taking both. But but, 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 but again, is that, was that, to me, one of your biggest failings? You're, you're too much of a nice guy. Yeah, that's it. I mean, maybe, Patricia, because look, I just followed up my orders. I, I followed what I was given. And I, 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 I prayed that we'd win and I wouldn't have to, uh, wouldn't have to you know, uh, deal, with, deal with that. But I mean, look, I listened to her and I did exactly what she told me. And that's, that's kind of, I, 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 I voiced my objection. I said, look, I want to make the sale. And he's like, no. I said, no, I really want to make the sale. He's like, no, I'm your PM. You're doing what I say. And like, I, I can respect that uh, to a certain point. So, I mean, I, I lost the task pretty much uh, when, I, when I wasn't voted as PM. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and do, do you need to think, do you need to toughen up out in the real world? Do you need to get, learn that ability to be able to say no? Um, no, I don't think so. I mean, look, I guess, you know, two tasks previous, I was able to, you know, assert my authority and uh, and get the job done uh, the way it should have been done. But you know, on the sales task, oh, I just I just, uh, I just had a momentary lapse of um, of aggression, and that cost me the job. And sales, you would say yourself, was never been your thing. No, I don't have any experience uh, selling. So I mean, it's just uh, it's just something that you need a good experience of if you're going to if you're going to be good at it. And I really don't have that. So I mean, if it's a normal if a normal project management task, sorry, if it's a normal product development task or a marketing task or you know an event uh, planning task, I can work very well on that because it's all about you know common sense and uh, and people skills. But a sales task. That's really something you need to experience of, and I have none, so it makes and sense. And I have to say, because I know we're claiming him as one of our own as well, English Steve, didn't he do very well on the sales yesterday, last great. night? Fantastic. Oh, he's fantastic. Yeah. fantastic, yeah. Fantastic. I mean, just, it just, the manner with which he sold was, was so pleasant. Mm. You know, like he was, he was getting great money coming in, and he was shifting those boxes, and he was, you know, the people enjoyed uh, buying off Steve. Steve. So, I mean, that, he really does have a great skill. OK, Anne in Bally Desmond uh, loves the Apprentice programme. We're really going to miss Breffney. Uh, we will miss him on, on the show. Uh, what's the story with himself and Geraldine? You had a bit of, you had a tete a tete with Geraldine, but it's, it's all over, I believe. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Uh, myself, yeah. Well, it never really got started. I mean, just something within the house, sort of a mini little relationship. It wasn't anything uh, huge, but... Um, but you know, like uh, you can mix business and pleasure. You absolutely, know, you absolutely. So Connor, yeah. Connor and Bandon says Breffney was a legend on the show. He's going to be oh. missed. It's not going to be the same without him. He brought entertainment to the program. And Mary in Rochestown says, "Will Breffney make a comeback on TV? Would you like to do uh, more TV work?" I'd love to. I'd like to do more work. Full stop. I mean, I'm in the middle now of a of a, of a serious job hunt, and I've got my website, sorry, my email set up as hirebreffney at gmail.com. Okay, open uh, to I, all offers. 
open to anything. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely anything. Look, I, I, I'll, I'll think about doing anything. But yeah, TV is, is a definite direction where there's potential because for some reason I'm just funny on screen. I, I don't know why. I don't know. I actually have no idea. But just the way I did those tasks. Oh, I just. But it's, it, look, you're dealing with lots of crazy characters in that show, so yeah, it's really yeah. easy to to find humour in it. I mean, uh, a lot of big egos. There's a lot of big egos. Uh, Anthony and oh, Limerick yeah. says, um, I think Geraldine or Lucinda are going to win at this stage. Mm. Um, and also from Limerick, tell Breffney we're going to miss him big time. Oh, I, I take it at this stage, you know, you know who's won the program, but just sworn to secrecy and all of that. Oh, we're all three. Yeah, we're all sworn to complete secrecy. You know, we can't say any, anything. I mean, um, but to be honest, you know. When you're when you're out of the loop, uh, you you don't really find you don't know what's going on. So yeah. I actually don't. I I couldn't tell you who won. Okay. Um, I I wish I could. Uh, well, I wouldn't anyway. Ah, you would. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> you, you gotta stay tuned. It's gonna like people are saying. Look, it's not gonna be the same, but it is. I mean, there's gonna be. A, a, a no, it's not. It actually isn't going to be the same without you, Bethany. Honest to God, it's not. It's not. Well, it's, the program will still be good, but it won't be the same without you. Just accept that you okay. are the star of The Apprentice. Believe me, you are. Have you any regrets about it? Yeah, I do. Um, I wish I'd gone in there uh, a little bit more sort of early on. I mean, I sort of, um, you know, I didn't have much experience, so what I did was just, I sort of just watched and listened um, uh, for the first while. And really, I needed to have been more vocal at the start and got myself heard and established in the competition as opposed to as opposed to waiting to learn to learn uh, some things before I opened my mouth. I mean, you know, I, I just needed to, I get stuck in a bit sooner. Like when I got stuck in, it was fine. Everything worked out. You know, we, we had the Cadbury's task. We had the uh, we had the Christmas cracker uh, thing. We, you know, I mean, like there was lots of good moments when I got, when I got into it. So, I mean, my advice to myself, if I could go back in time, was just you know get busy, like, get it stuck in sooner. Okay, I don't yeah. think you you will be waiting around long to get a job, uh, Brefney. Yeah. We wish you the yeah. best of luck with it, sure. and, and thanks a million. As I say, you've, you're terrific entertainment. Thanks, thanks for joining much. us. Bye bye, bye bye. That bye-bye. is uh, Brefney Morgan uh, from Douglas, booted out sadly of The Apprentice last night.